Good morning, everybody. Ramblin' Pam here. A few years back, Forrest Finn had said the treasure was wet. There was a lot of people trying to figure out how he knew the treasure was wet. On one of our visits with Forrest Finn, he received a phone call while we were there, and the guy was asking him about the treasure being wet. He was being pretty persistent with Forrest Finn, and I could tell that his patience was running out. So finally, he ended up with telling the guy, yes, the treasure is wet, and goodbye. Forrest came back to the couch to sit down beside Bob and I, and he told us that he'd been getting a lot of phone calls and emails about the treasure chest being wet. He said that when he finished filling up the treasure, that it wouldn't close all the way. And so it was still open about this much when he hid the treasure. And he said with rain and weather and everything that of course there's gonna get water inside and it wouldn't dry out. So that's how he knew that the treasure was still wet. When I saw the picture of the treasure chest after it was released and I saw the dirt that was around the edge, I thought to myself, yeah, that does look like something like he described, that it was open partially and after all those years, you know, plus you see the picture of the rusty key and, you know, other things that had been, had moisture inside the baggies and stuff. That, to me, that did look like exactly like what Forrest Fenn had explained. I'll be interested as hopefully more information is released what do you guys think about that? Leave me your comments below. We'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in this century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind? Or the talk of the town that we are, that we are living in? I don't know what will happen to me.